Lynch, who is going to stop us? You run the ship. You're the captain. Lynch, let go of that. How long I've waited to have someone on the inside at this school? Long time. But Kirk, this is not a prison. You're going to get us both fired. <sighs> let me sit in the chair. Get up. What? Get no, up. No, you can't sit in the chair. I want to sit okay, in that chair. If I let you sit in the chair, will you leave? Maybe. Oh, it's a great chair. It's a great ch I love this chair. I have to tell you that. I'm going to pee in your office. Wait, where are you going? Get over Tell here. Tell me you never wanted to do this. That's not a real... That's the only plant I have... Shh, shh, shh. Oh, I've never had a plant in my office. Lynch, please, shut up. You're writing for www.moviewinnerawinner.com? Yeah. They're going to pay me $75, guys. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Let me see that. So, in conclusion, that's how you start your review? Yeah. Because I have the final say. <laughs> it's catchy. I know. That's kind of annoying, Brenda. And then I sign it, movie guy. Oh, that's sketchy. But annoying. Is Movie Guy your pseudonym? No, no, no. No, it's just a name that I'm using instead of my real name. The suspense was suspenseful, and the comedy was funny. But Movie Guy says, read the book instead. The phone book, that is. Because it has less characters than this movie. I mean, what is it with these English movies? Alone at the top is the story of a love triangle among a circle of friends. Two best friends torn apart by success and failure and jealousy and success. Movie guy says it's a winner, but leave before the ending because it was too scary. I've never met anyone who didn't have an opinion. There's nothing in my psychology books about it. There's nothing I can do. Doc, please don't say that. Of course, I could call my friend Dr. Schwittenmauser. He could help you. Well, call him, Doc, please. I am desperate. I wasn't trying to insult you, Doctor. I'm just saying that with a name like Schwit and Mouser, I didn't... You didn't think I'd be Irish, did ya? No. So, would you be having an opinion about me now? Um, no. Then you're an idiot, sir! Um, uh, are you a leprechaun? Let me tell you about laddie. An opinion is a thing to be treasured, but it's good to come out a here to mean anything at all. Was he pointing to his butt? And cut. Big cut. Oh, jeez. Guys. Guys. Hey, that scene, that was uninspired. And, you know, though the story held together, you know, I, I've ever seen better acting on a postage stamp, I've got to be honest. Brendan. Brendan. Yeah. You're being a jerk. Yeah. I'm just offering my opinion, that's all. You sound like one of your stupid reviews. Okay, okay. I also don't get the analogy. Let's just take oh, a look Oh, Brendan, at... wait. Do you want an opinion on the script? Because that is uninspired. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen better scripts on a postage stamp. Yeah. That makes more sense. Maybe if you spent a little more time on your scripts and a little less time on your reviews. Okay, you know, whoa, come on. Let's just take it from Jason's line again. And action. Brendan, can you come here, please? What do you want? Right now. Did you find my checks? What? What? What did you just no, say? What? What did you ah! just say? What? Nothing. Brendan, get up here and explain yourself. All right! So I thought you'd be mad because I'm just a kid. Well, I, I wish you'd told me, but no, Brendan. I think it's great that you're getting paid for writing reviews. I'm very proud of you. Well, then you're going to love this. They sent me press passes to see the premiere of All That Violence this Friday night downtown. Brendan, that's an R-rated movie. You better believe it. Called All That Violence? That could be violent. Well, see, that's the ironic thing. It's not that violent. Well, I don't want you knowing about irony. How about nudity? I read about that movie. It sounds absolutely inappropriate for children. Yeah, but Mom... No, you're not going, Brendan. I don't want to go. Trust me. But well, I've... that's perfect, but then. But I've got a job. Brendan, you're not going. You're not going to a movie named All That Violence. But Jason and Melissa can go. I don't care what Jason and Melissa can do. But their parents probably don't know that it's called All That Violence. Until I call and tell them. Don't, Mom. Don't. <laughs> Brendan, ever since you started writing reviews, you've been ignoring your work. Yeah, Brendan, and your friends, us. That's, I mean... Pretty much your only two friends. D guys, guys. Let me say it in a way that you can understand, Brendan. Yes. www.you'vebeenignoringus.com mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, www.i'msorry.com. But guys, I'm still taking you to the premiere. I thought you couldn't go. Yeah, and how are we going to get there? Your mom was supposed to drive uh, us. No, 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 no. I have an idea. Brendan, are you going to disobey your mother? Are we going to steal a car? Coach. Coach, I have a proposition to offer you. <clears throat> Coach. Brendan, get out of my light. Listen. Did you say proposition? Yeah. All right, I'm all ears. Can you pick me and Melissa and Jason up on Friday? That's actually kind of gross, huh? I'm all ears. What? What if I were? 
all ears. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And can you drive us to the movie premiere? Ears instead of arms, ears instead of legs, yeah. just like a lump of ears. Coach, are you of course, you I'm drunk right now, so that kind of stuff amuses me. Coach, will you listen to me, please? Are you listening? Of course, I'm listening, Brendan. I said I was all ears. So you want to ride somewhere? Yeah. Where? Movie premiere. All right. What's in it for me? Huh. It's tempting. All right, I'll do it. What the hell? Okay. I'll get back in my light. I'm burning up. Hey, interim. Fink's here. Again. What is it, Fink? Lidge. <laughs> what? You gotta do something about McGurk. Oh. He burst into my science class and started teaching again. Oh. Okay, quick science lesson, all right? Don't mix beer with scotch. Why did that get no reaction? Everybody knows what beer is, right? Yeah. Everybody knows what scotch is. Yeah. Don't mix them. Liquor before beer, never fear. Beer before liquor, throw up quicker. All right? Fink, Fink, everything will be fine. I'll take care of McGurk. Let's come on! Help! Wait, wait, wait. I want you to hear something first. What about a boiler maker? Those are good. Isn't that beer and scotch? Yeah. But it's not one before the other. It's together in one. That's okay. Is there a rhyme for that? Yes. Attention. Attention, please. Uh, will Mr. McGurk please come to the principal's office immediately? Thank you. <laughs> so what do you think? Do I sound like a principal? Yeah, I don't think you have to put your hand over your mouth like that. Really? I think this, this, this is the way it's supposed to sound, isn't it? Yeah, I think it sounds that way because of the intercom speaker. Oh. Th is that still odd? Oh, crap. Okay, so we meet at the soccer field tonight. Right, and I'm going to say I'm staying at your house, and what are you telling your mom? I'm saying that I'm going to stay at Jason's house. Oh, uh, right? you can't stay at my house, Brendan, because my aunt and uncle are there. Right, but I'm not, I'm not really staying, though. You can pretend to stay at my house, Brendan. Thank you. Where are you staying? I'm staying at my house with my aunt and uncle and my parents. No, but where are you going to say you are when we're at the movie? Yeah, when we're at the movie. Then I'll be at the movies. Jason, you... What? Nothing. McGurk, why are you doing this? Look what I got you.